Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do a whip or a swish pan using After Effects. So first of all let me just show you my clips that I've got here, clip number one and clip number two. So we're going to pan from clip one to clip two. Alright so I'm just going to drag clip one into a new composition and then I'm going to drag clip two underneath clip one. So as you can see it's just a tripod or a static shot and the same goes for clip number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that whip pan between 4 and 5 seconds. So I'm just going to slide clip 2 over so it's kind of overlapping between 4 and 5 seconds. And then I'm going to trim down clip number 1 so it ends at 5 seconds because we don't really need it after that. Something like that. Okay. And um, next what we want to do is we want to slide this clip over to the right hand side because I'm going to do the pan to the right. So make sure that your play it is in this overlapping area and on clip 2 I'm going to press P for position and then I'm just going to slide it over something like this and um, try and position it so it, it's just on that edge. We can always adjust that later on. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to create a null. So right click new and then you're going to click on null object. And then we're going to parent both these clips to that null. So select both these layers and with this little um, parent thing, just drag it over to null. And now they both parent it to that null object. So basically if you click on the null object and press P for position and you slide this around, you will slide both of those clips together. So that's exactly what we want. So I'm just going to undo that quickly. So let's go to 4 seconds, just where it's overlapping already. And I'm going to set a keyframe for position for the null object. And then I'm going to go forward about 5 frames. And then I'm going to slide this over so that we see clip number 2 in our viewport. Okay, as you can see we've got a little bit of a black line on the edge here. So I'm just going to go into clip 2's properties again, or the position properties. And I'm just going to slide it over to the right so that we don't see any of these black lines on the side. Okay, something like that, that's perfect. And now if we play through this, you'll see we've got that movement. So first of all, what you can do to start off with is to enable motion blur on both of these clips and then also enable that for your composition. But that won't be perfect. As you can see, we've got a black line going through our frame here. So if I play through this, um, let me just render that quickly. Then you can see we've got that black line going across, not that great. Okay, let me show you guys how to fix that really easily. So I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to move that below my null object. And then on my adjustment layer, I'm going to right click, go to effect and go to blur and sharpen. And then I'm going to add a directional blur. Okay, and because we are panning from left to right, I'm going to set this to 90 degrees so that we've got that sideways uh, blur going on. And then I'm going to increase the blur length to around, let's say, 300 for now. Let's just see how that looks like. So as you can see, we don't have that line anymore. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to animate the opacity of this adjustment layer. So for now, I'm just going to switch it off so that we can actually see where we are or what frame we're on. So I'm going to go to the frame where the animation basically starts. And on that adjustment layer, I'm going to press T to go into the opacity settings. And I'm going to create a keyframe and I'm going to set that to 0%. Okay, and then I'm going to go forward one frame and then I'm going to set the opacity to 100. And then just scrub through and go to the last frame where the animation ends. I'm going to put another keyframe, make that 0 and then go one frame backwards and set that to 100. So basically it's going to go from 0 to 100 and then from 100 back to 0 again. Right, let's just enable that layer quickly and I'm going to do a quick RAM preview. Right, and there you go, you've got your whip pan or your swish pan very, very easily using After Effects. So yeah, you can obviously um, play with the speed or the duration of that pan by just uh, adjusting these keyframes. And you can also play with the opacity of this adjustment layer and also the blur length of your directional blur. Cool, so a really simple but useful technique using After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of any new tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.
Flash. Flash.